Anna, how do you find balance in the age of indulgence? This is the title of your book. I had to use that one. <laughs> yeah, balance in the age of indulgence. Well, it's a lot of what we've been talking about here. It's, you know, my goal is to have people fundamentally recognize that we're living in an unprecedented era in which our access to highly addictive, dopaminergic drugs and behaviors is endless and everywhere. And this is an unprecedented time. I mean, in the whole history of humankind, we have not had the kind of access to these potent high dopamine drugs that we have now. So it becomes really necessary for us to be intentional and thoughtful about the way we are consuming, whatever it is, whether it's potato chips or pornography or Netflix shows. Um, and we have to really begin to understand what these substances and behaviors do to our brain and how what feels good in the moment can actually make us feel worse in the long run, such that the antidote to that is, is abstaining, right? Is not indulging, is limiting these rewards, is opening ourselves up to painful experiences and welcoming those experiences as an opportunity for all kinds of things that have to do with the core of well-being. Um, so that's essentially you know, the, the thesis of the book. And then I give a lot of specific examples and patient cases. My patients have been wonderful. They've let me share their stories. I really hold up people with addiction um, who are in recovery as sort of modern day prophets for all of us. Because if they've been able to figure it out, then certainly the rest of us who don't aren't as vulnerable to addiction can use their wisdom to sort of navigate this new landscape.